Thursday delivered a surprisingly strong performance from the Australian share market. It finished with a gain of 53 points or just over 0.8 of a percent. And that was really at odds with what we saw in Northern Hemisphere markets overnight. And you could have reasonably thought that we would have had a pretty challenging session at least. But uh, today, most sectors were higher. The only group to have a notable decline was the energy sector. This turns around uh, several important points, not least of which is that oil prices had their biggest decline in two years overnight because of the prospect of increasing supply in coming months. An example of that is that Libya could potentially add uh, around 400,000 barrels of oil per day as they come back online, having been offline since June. Uh, elsewhere uh, in that space, we had uh, the issue of the ACCC putting forward suggestions to overhaul the Australian energy market, which saw energy retailers in the last couple of days really take a big hit. So that continued today for Origin, uh, those shares down 3%, having seen a similar decline yesterday. AGL shares finished in positive territory, uh, recovering from yesterday's losses. Uh, Woodside Petroleum was down by around 1%. Uh, Elsewhere, as far as company news is concerned, we had a couple of updates from uh, organisations, including A2 Milk. Uh, they reaffirmed their revenue for the full year. It rose by 68%. That was at the high end of expectations. They said they were expecting a similar performance in the year ahead, but it's going to be accompanied by higher costs as they expand their footprint <laughs> in China. So that saw some investors bristle. Uh, the stock finished down by 2%, but year to date, it's still up by more than 40%. Elsewhere, Freedom Foods had a bit of a knock today, falling by around 7%. It comes after they downgraded their sales expectations for the full year. Uh, Village Roadshow came back online, having been <laughs> offline for a couple of days as they conduct an equity raising. Uh, the stock finished down by 11%. The Aussie dollar is a little bit firmer at 73.8 US cents.